Dahlia blooms are developed and prized for the diversity and intensity of their pigmentation. Dahlia growers officially recognize 225 different flower colors. They can be different hues of white, yellow, pink, red, lavender, purple, bronze, and many more colors. The exact color of each petal is determined by using a color card system to find the closest color match. Coloration throughout the plant is the result of the accumulation of pigments, chemical compounds that absorb specific wavelengths of visible light. The three main classes of pigments found in dahlias are chlorophylls, carotenoids, and anthocyanins. Chlorophyll is predominantly found in leaf tissue and is responsible for photosynthesis. Carotenoids are lipophilic, yellow, orange, and red pigments that play an important role in remediating light-induced stress. Anthocyanins, a specific class of flavonoids, provide most of the colors that are so sought after in dahlias. Therefore, most of the heritable color diversity in dahlias must come from mutations that affect, either directly or indirectly, anthocyanin synthesis and organization. These two white varietals may or may not have a mutation in the same gene in the anthocyanin pathway. We could cross them to for perform a complementation test. If their offspring are all pigmented, then the mutations are in different genes. If this were done with all the varietals, complementation groups could be assembled and used as down testers for further genetic study. What assumption does this test rely on? The exact pattern of anthocyanin expression in different tissues is controlled by various transcription factors in maize and petunias. This is most likely the case in dahlias as well. How are these patterns similar to the R and B loci found in maize? One way in which new patterns emerge in dahlias is by mutations that occur in promoters or pigment genes during mitotic division. All of a cell's descendants will then have a different pigment pattern than the original plant. For example, this plant normally produces vivid red flowers, but a mitotic mutation has led to a branch that produces mostly white flowers. However, mutations in the anthocyanin biosynthetic pathway and regulatory elements are not the only explanations for color variation. Anthocyanins can exist in complexes, stabilized by metallocations, and colorless copigments such as tannic acid and flavonoids. These complexes can be influenced by vacuole pH, the efficiency with which the plant takes up and transports metals, and temperature.